The Three Gorges Dam, a man-made disaster. When it officially became fully functional on July 4th, 2012, China hailed the Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest power station with 22,500 megawatts of installed capacity, as a resounding success. They pointed to its modern, highly efficient turbines, its ability to increase shipping capacity along the Yangtze River, and the fact that it could help to prevent downstream flooding by freeing up flood storage space. Not only all of this, but it was a move towards limiting greenhouse gas emissions. Sounds great! But there are two sides to every story, and the negative consequences of this monumental project, which cost the country the equivalent of around 25 billion US dollars, have been described by many as catastrophic, both in its human and environmental impacts. Over 1 million people were displaced, and the dam flooded historically significant archaeological and cultural sites. Entire ecosystems were permanently altered, with rare plant and animal life being pushed to the brink of extinction. Experts warn that the increased pressure such a massive structure would create on the surrounding land would trigger massive landslides and an increased risk of earthquakes. And their eerie predictions seem to be coming true. We'll break down the story behind what has become without a doubt one of the most controversial pieces of infrastructure ever built by humankind. And you should all really be looking forward to it because we made it for you, the audience. But first, as some of you may know, it's now time for us to do something else for our watchers. Shout out one of our favorite comments. Mark Farmer must surround himself with some pretty terrible people because he seems to prefer the company of extremely poisonous golden lancehead snakes after watching scary islands that humans refuse to populate. All jokes aside, thanks for watching Mark and we appreciate the comment. Now let's check out this giant dam, starting with its origins, which involves one of the most important and revered people in China's post-imperialism history, Sun Yat-sen. Nationalism, democracy, and the livelihood of the people. These are the three principles that Sun Yat-sen famously followed. He would use these beliefs to move China away from imperialism, a system that Sen considered corrupt and in stark contrast to his beliefs in the early 1900s. One of his many ideas in relation to the development of his country was a huge dam that would cross the Yangtze, thereby channeling the power of the mighty river for the greater good of his country and its people. Sen writes about his vision in his book, The International Development of China in 1919. He would pass away in 1925, but the story of his proposed dam over the Yangtze was just beginning. Slowed progress. Both the US government and Japanese military forces started plans to build a dam on the Yangtze, the latter in the late 1930s in anticipation of a victory over China in World War II and the former in 1944. All work was halted, however, as a result of the Chinese Civil War in 1947. Mao would continue to support a project on the Yangtze River after the communist takeover of 1949, so much so that he penned a poem about the desire entitled Swimming in 1956. But economic instability would impede progress for decades. Finally, in the early 1990s, the National People's Congress approved the Three Gorges Dam and construction began in December of 1994. 1.3 million people, critics say the number is closer to 2 million, were asked to move out of over 1,500 villages, towns, and cities that were subsequently flooded. Compensation plans for the displaced were enacted, but those efforts were shackled by local corruption. And when funding did reach its destination, it was often an underwhelming amount that fell woefully short of the value of individuals' homes and livelihoods. Building a monster. Despite concerns from scientists both in China and abroad, construction marched on throughout the 2000s. Experts saw that the giant project would increase pressure on the surrounding land and had the very likely potential to cause landslides. Their concerns were unfortunately confirmed in 2003, just one month after China filled the dam to a 575-foot depth 700 million cubic feet of rock slid into the Qinggan River just miles from where it flows into the Yangtze. The landslide spawned a devastating 65-foot wave that would claim 14 lives. Still, development of the dam continued. In November of 2007, ground gave way near a Three Gorges Reservoir tributary. Thousands of cubic yards of rock tumbled onto a highway, burying a bus and killing at least 30 people. Incidents like these and the facts backing them can no longer be ignored, even by the government. In 2012, China's Ministry of Land Resources explained that there had been 70% more landslides and bank collapses than they had estimated as a result of the dam. By the numbers, when the actual dam was finally complete, people around the world marveled at its dimensions. It stretches 1.4 miles across the Yangtze while towering 607 feet towards the skies, making it the largest dam in the world. Hoover Dam, America's most well-known dam, is roughly five times smaller to give you an idea of its size. 21 million cubic yards of concrete were used to build the structure, 
another world record. Its generating capacity of 22,500 megawatts is easily the world's highest. As we mentioned at the beginning, it costs some 25 billion US dollars to build, but that number is again disputed by critics, who feel it could have ended up costing the country up to double that amount. Pros. The dam has plenty of positive impacts. It wasn't built just to cause landslides and displace millions. At full power, the Three Gorges is capable of reducing coal consumption by over 30 million tons a year, thereby avoiding some 100 million tons of gas emissions and 10,000 tons of carbon monoxide. The presence of ship locks, and even ship elevators, believe it or not, allows giant vessels to traverse the Yangtze, boosting the country's economy as a result. While the Chinese government hoped that the dam would provide power to 10% of people in China, Electricity demand in the country became much higher than expected, and less than 2% of the population received power through the dam today. Another positive impact of the dam, if you were to ask government officials, would be its ability to prevent a very real and very serious threat to the millions surrounding and directly affected by the Yangtze. Floods. The dam's top priority, it seemed, was in preventing the catastrophic floods that occur along the Yangtze, land that is populated by millions. In August of 1931, Following a year of above average rainfall, the Yangtze flooded. 500 square miles surrounding the river were submerged. Entire rice crops were destroyed. Without this essential food, thousands in major cities like Nanjing starved following the catastrophe. All told, over three and a half million lives were claimed in the months following the floods. More recently, in 1998, a series of floods that lasted from June to September left 3,700 people dead, 15 million homeless, and caused nearly $25 billion in economic losses. Now, government officials tout the dam's apparent ability to prevent such catastrophes. The general public, and especially those that live in areas near the Yangtze, aren't so sure. Flooding last year was the worst since 1998, leaving hundreds dead. Critics pointed to the dam and its failure to prevent the disaster. The 2016 floods were bad, and only time will tell if the Three Gorges is capable of preventing an event as devastating as 1998, or scarier still, something more along the lines of what transpired in 1931. This dam is so freaking big, some experts out there think its sheer mass and the changes in water levels it creates could actually cause earthquakes. The paths of major fault lines lie directly underneath the Three Gorges. Experts believed that the dam, as a result, could cause a significant increase in seismic activity. As you know by now, the dam was built despite these and many other concerns, some of which we've gone over. A study done by the China Earthquake Administration, a government entity, showed that the experts were right. They registered 3,429 earthquakes around the reservoir between mid-2003 and the end of 2009, 30 times the frequency recorded during pre-dam periods. People fear a large earthquake and its potential consequences as it relates to the dam. If the dam itself were to be damaged during a huge earthquake, for instance, the results would surely be devastating for the millions living in close proximity. Thanks everyone for joining us on our knowledge feedy look at the Three Gorges Dam. We hope that we've tipped the Richter scales within you a bit, and we can't wait for you to join us on our next video. Good night, and good luck. <laughs>